it's challenging times like these it happens that the mind gets into a state of anxiety and uh, it's normal as well there are people who are able to handle anxiety very well and there are people who are able to pull themselves back uh, when they experience symptoms of anxiety whereas there is a percentage that find it extremely difficult to handle when it comes the first and the foremost thing that we are to do to handle anxiety is the moment we feel we are getting into an anxious state just pull yourself out of it now this is not to say that you're distracting you're not distracting what you're really doing is that before you get into that spiral because it's like one thing that leads to another the moment you realize that you're entering that orbit entering this spiral of anxiety just snap yourself out of it it is extremely helpful when you can do that in the beginning now for that to happen you require awareness you require awareness of your change of state that's happening So you are required to know your inner self and to observe yourself to the point that you can see that now I am drifting away and I'm moving myself into the state uh, into the state of anxiety of being anxious. Secondly, it's also important for you to remember that anxiety is something that is of the future. So you're always anxious of future events. as future is uncertain we do not know what's going to unfold in the future it makes us anxious because uh, fundamentally as human beings we want to gain control over things but we have no control over future future will be what it will be and we do not know that right now therefore just becoming mindful that anxiety is of the future you can reorient yourself to the present or as as a mere escape and it's an escape it is not a way to deal with anxiety you can go back to the past you can reminisce in the past that you've had and look at the good memories that you've, you've accumulated all your life the best way is to just stay in the present and to deal with the situation as it is arising another way to deal with anxiety is to get both your brains working the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere if you do an activity that involves both the hemispheres you will be able to take care of your anxiety so if you get into knitting like you know our grandmoms used to do um or you get into any activity that involves both the hands or put you in a flow state that requires the physical body if you get into dancing uh if you could get into learning a new skill juggling as an activity or do other things with the smiley balls that are now available in the market any activity that involves the activation of both hemispheres will give you a relief from anxiety particularly those activities and do a google search on them the activities that activate the right hemisphere of the brain if you do more of this you will certainly feel a relief in your anxiety take care